Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failer. Let's jump in with day 19 of spring. I've got a fun and full day planned for us today. Let's take a quick look at our fortune. Neutral, not a great day for mining, although we actually are going to do a mine type thing today. It's raining, which is rare, but that's pretty cool. Uh, let's uh, drink some coffee, as usual, and take a look at our mail. Okay, new rods over at the fishing shop. That's pretty cool. I think we should take a look at the new rods. Uh, let's see, we just learned how to cook cheese cauliflower. That's a new recipe that Pam is giving us because we reached a certain uh, friendship threshold with her yesterday when we gave her that delicious silver parsnip on her birthday. Okay, and again, we passed out as usual. And then here's a request fresh cauliflower for Jody. So I don't know when the quests come in, uh, but uh, we're going to see if we can tackle this one today because we actually do have cauliflower now available that we can harvest. Uh, you can click accept quest even if you just hit the X, uh, you still get the quest thrown into your journal right there. Bring Jody a cauliflower. Okay, uh, so I think that that is good for the mail. And then uh, let's take a look at our daily plan right here. Okay, reminders about the save folder and parsnips and checking your luck. And then it says here, consider my note in the miscellaneous tab about prioritizing bundles. So let's take a look at the miscellaneous tab. And here in the miscellaneous tab, right at the bottom of this yellow section, uh, I'm going to read it from the top here. It says, I recommend making it an early game priority to do any four bundles and then pay for the bus to be fixed to unlock the desert. So we've actually done that already. Once the desert is unlocked, you'll be able to gather the items needed to complete the exotic foraging bundle, another bundle complete. Additionally, you can go through Skull Cavern multiple times for good chest rewards. I suggest doing Skull Cavern on good luck days. Today's a neutral luck day, but we're going to check it out anyway, including potentially getting auto petters and auto grabbers, which will help us not have to do as much work with our animals, our uh, barn uh, and coop animals. Also, you can go to the Oasis to buy rhubarb seeds and some non-spring seeds. So we're actually going to head over to the desert today for the first time ever, not just in this video series, but for me as well. Uh, I've never been to the desert, except uh, I did take a quick peek before I made this video. Uh, I, uh, I loaded my day 19 save file that we're playing right now and just took a quick look around to orient myself. But really, this is my first trip to the desert as well. Exciting stuff. Uh, then it says uh, do the uh, traveling cart because it's a Friday, uh, so we should always check out the traveling cart on Fridays and Sundays, and since you're already near the Secret Forest, might as well just grab hardwood. Uh, and then uh, the day is yours to do with uh, what you wish. So uh, what I wish is to first uh, organize my items because we've got a whole bunch of new stuff uh, yesterday uh, when we went mining. So let's begin organizing uh, some of these things. So we'll head on over here and uh, let's see. Uh, so we've got some seed stuff. Oh, we got some sap that goes up there. That's cool. Might as well just do this add to existing stacks to see if there's anything else. Uh, all right. So um, here we go. Ancient seeds there and cauliflower seeds here. So we could plant cauliflower seeds. They're pretty inexpensive to buy at Pierre's anyway. Um, but there isn't even enough time left in the season. It takes 12 days to produce uh, cauliflower, and we're already on day 19, and the end of spring is coming up at the end of the 28th day. So can't plant those now. We could plant them next spring if we were so inclined. Um, the ancient seeds, uh, that's something that's interesting here. Let me uh, actually think about whether or not we want to... Well, I was going to say let me pause the video and see if we can maybe plant one of those today, but we don't even have like a an available spot. You know what? Let me just see if uh, today is a good day to plant one of those. Hang on one second for me. Okay, I'm back. Just did a quick bit of researching on the wiki about ancient seeds. Turns out that they uh, grow into ancient fruits after 28 days. And uh, so I could plant them today, you know, maybe uh, hack up one of these things with a pickaxe and then plant. Um, I guess I just have one, um, but uh, I think I'll just plant it on summer one um, and, uh, and it won't show up in this video series anyway, but ancient fruit uh, to be had from ancient seeds. Okay, uh, I don't know if there's anything else that goes up here, uh, so let's keep piling stuff so we can put the clay, our first clay. We need a bunch more, 19 more for two more silos. Uh, I know the mushrooms go down here and we've already got plenty of red mushrooms, so there's a few more. Uh, void essences. All right, so now it's time to head over to, and there's my ancient fruit research, uh, time to head over to the uh, all items list. Oopsies. And uh, take a look at the void essences here. So we do need a bunch of them. So how many of these did we have here? 
11. Great. Uh, all right, so we got 11 more. We're going to add to this pile right here. That brings us up to 16. Um, and uh, the only thing that's not white is this full craft where we need a ton of them. So I guess we're just throwing these into the crafting bin right up here. There we go, up to 13 there. Uh, I see some solar essences. Why don't we just take a look at that as well? Uh, so here, uh, we only had one of them, so we just have now another three. So that's going to bring us up to four. And uh, we could uh, bundle one. No, we've already bundled one. I can see that's white. We can ship one and put the rest into crafting. Uh, what is this right here? Oh, one goes into a quest. Maybe we should do that as well. Uh, one ship, one quest. The shipping is going to be done. And then the other ones go into uh, crafting. Okay, so we're going to ship one solar essence right there. We're going to put into the white quest one solar essence there. And then the remaining one goes into the crafting bin there. Okay, moving right along. Let's take a look at the next item here. Uh, strange buns that goes into the cooking bin, which I can never remember where the cooking bins are. Uh, looks like maybe the bottom right. Okay, we'll throw this in here. Cooked bun or strange bun. Okay, copper and co uh, copper and coal. We're actually going to hold on to for a little bit, so we'll keep them where they are. Let's look for bone fragments. Uh, all right, so we need a slew of these things. Uh, we need to ship one and hang on to uh, 128 more uh, crafting. So we've got 12. Let's put 12 here for how many we have. And we're going to say that we shipped one. And we'll craft the rest. OK, back up here. Ship one and craft 11. OK, some slimes. We know the drill by now. Okay, uh, I think we're just going to throw these into the crafting bin and make a note of how many we have. So uh, let's see, so we were in the crafting bin already. Six more into the crafting bin. Six added to this number right here. Okay, and then next up was um, Batwing, which is right here. Uh, so we need a bunch of these here. Looks like five go into the quest thing. Let's see how many are in there uh, already, if any. No, all right, so let's put one, two, three, four, five in there, and then we'll craft with the rest. There we go. Uh, okay, so uh, how many did we just add? I kind of lost track of what's happening here. Bat wings, okay, so, so we put uh, five and then six, and I think, I think we added seven. Hopefully we had nine. Uh, hopefully we just added seven. It's okay if we're off by a little bit, we'll figure it out as we start crafting and things. Uh, okay, uh, that was the bat wings. Next up is the fire quartz. Uh, so this one, uh, we've got one of them, and we've already... Let's see, we need to put it in the crafting bin and then call this thing a yes. Okay, so one fire quartz goes right there, and then I think that's all in terms of the fire quartzes. So we'll throw the rest into the minerals bin here. Uh, marble. Um, so now we're getting to... Uh, what are we getting to here? Uh, we've already donated these things, right? Okay, so um, so we need one for crafting purposes. Let's put this one into the crafting bin right up here. I was kind of hesitating there because I'm thinking back about the, uh, the donations that we made. So we've already donated marble and got credit for it. And uh, now we're just seeing if we can use these things for any other purposes. Uh, okay, so we have one diamond. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and throw it into the crafting bin which was already open right there. Okay, cave carrots. Where are we? Cave carrot. All right, uh, so we still need to continue putting cave carrots into the cooking bin, and we also needed one in the quest bin. So let's just see if we already have a cave carrot in the quest bin. Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's take a look at the cooking bins. <clears throat> uh, cave carrot, two. So we have seven there. How many do we need? in the cooking bin. We only need five, so I guess this was already done, actually. Uh, so that means we just need to put one into the quest bin. So we'll take two back, because we only need five. <clears throat> quest with one of them. And the foraging bin, I think, is uh, this one. Put that one there. Okay, moving on, an Omni Geode. So uh, I don't think we need them in here for any purpose. Oh, maybe we do. We've got to craft one and bundle one. Take the first prismatic shard. All right. Um, 
So let's let's go ahead and do that. How many do we have right now? Just one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, use that one in a bundle. Uh, so we'll say that we have one here, and we'll throw this Omni Geode into a bundle. You could crack it, um, but we need an Omni Geode here anyway. Okay, uh, parsnips we know we're giving as gifts. Magma Geode, not required for anything, uh, and we've already donated. So let's come down here and throw it into the... Okay, I actually think I didn't mean to put this here. The extra minerals are going to go here. Minerals that we've already donated. And uh, in this left one here is where we'll put minerals that uh, we still need to donate. So that's my plan. Okay, I'm hesitating here for a second because I, I'm kind of losing track of which ones we have donated. So let me just take a quick look to make sure that we have... Oh, this is a geode. Okay, sorry. It doesn't go here at all. Uh, the magma geode needs to get cracked. Uh, so the geode's going here. Great. Okay, and then coming back here, uh, yeah, so fire quartz for sure we've donated. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, there's nothing in this one, right? Okay, lots of stuff to keep track of here. Okay, uh, so the next one is uh, quartz, which is another mineral, but actually I think we've been putting quartz up here. So uh, there we go, 31 quartz, although to be honest, I think actually quartz is something that we've never... Let's see, uh, I think we need to donate one quartz here to the museum, so let's put one of those down into the museum bin. And also, see if uh, we need to do anything with quartz here. Not refined quartz, but just regular old quartz. Okay, we do need three of them. Uh, sorry, we have three of them. We needed 13. Uh, the rest of them are going in here, so why don't we just do that right now. Uh, okay, so I think I said I was going to take one of these quartz and bring it to the museum. So I'll just put one here. And then we also are going to take a quartz and what else do we need to do? Nothing here. So I guess all that remains is to put it in the quest bin. So we need a total of 12 in that bin. Let's see how many are already there. Quests. Uh, let's see. Two. Okay, so now we're up to 12. And then we can just put here in the quartz section that we've got all 13. <clears throat> And now the quartz are done, so we can put the quartz back. Or I keep them here for more refined quartz making. Okay, moving on. Uh, hardwood, we know, goes right up there. <clears throat> Purple mushroom. Uh, we need more of these things, so let's see. We've got one more, so add that to the pile. And uh, I think we needed to put another one in a bundle. So if I put one more in that bundle, which is this green one here, uh, then uh, I'm pretty sure we've already put a, a purple mushroom where it belongs in a bundle. I uh, don't remember which one of these things it's in. It might even be completed actually, so we wouldn't be able to see it. But I have a pretty distinct memory of putting a purple mushroom in. So we're going to go ahead and say that uh, we've completed two purple mushrooms for the bundle purposes. Uh, red mushrooms go into this red bin. Uh, topaz we've already donated. Uh, I don't think it's necessary here, but Let's take a look. Topaz, yep. So uh, we can throw those into the extra minerals section right here. Okay, uh, this uh, Dwarf Scroll 3 is an artifact that we're going to take to the museum. So that's essentially right here, the museum section. Uh, rubies, I, I think we donated one, but there's only one way to find out. Let's come right here and say ruby. We have not donated any, so uh, that goes in there. Emerald for sure we donated, but we'll just verify here. Right there, that Y tells me that this emerald is extra. So we might as well just make just make sure that we don't need any... Uh, did we just do this? Oh, we need an emerald here. Gang, how about that? One emerald, and it uh, looks like it's going into a quest. So let's take this emerald and throw it into the white quest bin. Right there. Okay, warp totem farm. Um, I don't know how useful these things are going to be. I'm going to call this a uh, machine that we may or may not use at some point. Uh, and then Aquamarine, I'm almost certain we have not donated that to the museum yet. Let's take a look and see if it goes here as well. It does. We've got to do a couple of things. All right. I like uh, prioritizing bundles, so let's go ahead and say, yes, we've got the bundle. One Aquamarine, and we'll throw that into the green bundle chest, just like that. Okay. Oh, one more. Sandstone. Did we do this one yet? Sandstone. We don't need it there. Let's take a look at the museum. Sandstone, we did it there, which means this sandstone is just plain extra. And so we know that extra minerals go into this second chest right here. Okay, cool. 
All right, so we've organized the items, and next thing we're going to do is uh, pack up for a trip. Uh, so I've got a specific packing list here. I'm going to pause the video while I gather all of my items to pack with. Uh, actually, first one I'll say here while, I, uh, while I'm on video is that uh, the cauliflower are ready for harvest. Um, now, I wasn't intending to harvest on this day. I've got a day coming up real soon where it says harvest the cauliflower and the beans. Uh, so I'll just let that one sit there. Um, uh, but I've grabbed the uh, cauliflower because uh, it's part of a quest that we're about to do. So uh, let me pause the video and pack up, and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back after a couple of minutes of packing. Uh, so I uh, got rid of my uh, fishing rod because we're about to buy a brand new, better fishing rod. Uh, but I took all the bait off that old fishing rod and put it right here for putting uh, for we're going to take this and put it on the new fishing rod that we're going to buy in a few minutes. And uh, and then I took that old fishing rod and put it into the chest with all the other old uh, equipment and, and weapons and tools. Uh, I crafted some cherry bombs. I crafted some staircases. Uh, we're going to go mining today. So we've got the uh, sword with us, the katana. Uh, we've got the pickaxe again because we're going mining. Uh, we've got salad here because we're going to get hurt in this in this cavern uh, and need to restore our health a bunch of times. Um, uh, so that's why we have the staircases again for the mining. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of extra stuff. So I just crafted a few chests so that we can uh, drop off our extra stuff. Silver parsnips for random people that we see, coffee for running fast, trout soup because we might do a tiny bit of fishing, uh, one cauliflower for that quest. Uh, if we need to make more cherry bombs, here are the materials. So that is the specific packing list, and now we are out of here. Okay, so next thing to do again, it's Friday, so I like to uh, visit the traveling cart uh, every Friday. So let's hop on the horse and head out the south exit and quickly see if there's anything of interest in the traveling cart. Okay, here we go. Uh, so the traveling cart always here. Uh, we're near the secret forest, so typically this would be a good time to get hardwood, but I've just got so much exciting stuff I have planned for today that we're just not gonna bother. Uh, okay, the uh, dressed spinner increases the bite rate when fishing. Uh, hang on one second, let me look at this up. Okay, uh, so the dress spinner is something that is uh, useful to us, but actually we can buy it today. It is now finally available to us since we've reached fishing level six, and we'll go buy it at the uh, fishing shop, Willie's shop, uh, for half the price. So we'll save some money here. Uh, no need for buying far steps. Our tulip needs are already met. Uh, turns out we do need uh, one thing of uh, whatever. We've got to ship this jelly thing. Uh, glazed yams is just a cooking dish. I don't know that, uh, that it's worth anything here. I think yams are just like a regular crop, so that's not something we need. Uh, so we'll skip past that. Wooden fence, we could craft cave carrot. Uh, we'll, I think we'll find plenty of them. I don't know. Do we still need more? Let's just grab it. Summer spangle, we're going to grow those soon enough. Fairy seeds, that's interesting. I don't even know what fairy seeds are. Fairy rose, what does it say? Plant in the fall takes 12 days to produce a mysterious flower. I don't know, we'll buy them, but I think that we're probably just going to be able to buy these directly from Pierre's, no? I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, plum pudding, not worth anything to me. Grandmother end table, not going to buy furniture. I will buy the rare seed, and that's it for uh, the traveling cart. Super. Uh, oh, one thing about the packing list. Uh, I would like to have brought my hoe with me uh, in case I run into any of the uh, kind of funny... Uh, wormy squares uh, where we when we go to the desert today, but uh, the hoe is currently being upgraded. So I would have brought it if I had it, but nope. So can't. All right. Next up is uh, to bring Jody this uh, this cauliflower to complete the quest. Uh, so if you don't know where folks live, uh, you can just uh, hit M to pull up the map and uh, and just mouse over each of the different buildings until you find the person you want. So Jody is right here. I looked up the schedule before I made this video, and it turns out she's in her kitchen starting at 9 a.m. So I think we're just going to waltz right in there like we own the place. I don't think the kitchen is locked. Hopefully it's not locked. And uh, we're going to give her this uh, cauliflower. Hopefully she's got some delicious dish planned for it. Okay, hop out here. Head in here. Uh, let me empty my hands. Okay, tell me that she's here. Hello. Did I wipe my boots off? All right, how about, uh, how about a parsnip first? Excellent. What about this? Hey. All right, so this uh, exclamation point means we uh, finished uh, a quest. 350 gold, bam. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and while I'm thinking about quests, um, we actually do have a quest tab here. 
and this is a list of every single quest um, and uh, what the requirements are. Uh, I didn't make this at all, just copied it from It's Eno on Reddit. Great resource, uh, great tab. There's the direct link to their spreadsheet. Uh, but let's go ahead and mark it down. Uh, so Jody's request was to li deliver a cauliflower uh, for perfection's sake. You got to put a Y in every one of these. You got to do every single quest. And we haven't been keeping track of these things because I didn't think of it until right now. Uh, but let's see if we can remember uh, which ones we've completed. Uh, so we uh, give anyone a gift. Yeah, we did that. Uh, raising animals uh, by building a coop. We've done that. Did we craft a scarecrow? Yep. Furnace? Yep. Plenty of those. Did we smelt the copper bar? Yes, we did. Uh, the mayor's shorts. All right, so that doesn't sound familiar at all. A cave carrot for Marnie, pale ale, delivering these things. We haven't done any of that. Delivering hardwood. Nope, nope, nope. That might be just about it, gang. Truffle oil, lobster, battery pack. Yeah, we've done we've done none of these delivery tasks. Okay, uh, but we've got the first ones done here. That's pretty cool. I don't think they necessarily come in this specific order, but maybe they do. We'll see. Uh, okay, cool. So that one is uh, done now. And next thing we're going to do is go buy that brand new rod. So that means uh, heading over to the beach. Uh, the minecarts are not all that helpful to us today, uh, just given our destinations. Uh, the minecart is at the uh, over at the bus. And also um, something. I hope he's open today. I'm assuming he's open. Let's just grab some stuff because we can. Um, so over at the uh, the mines and over by the blacksmith, and uh, I do like glasses. Can I grab that? Cool. And are we open? Yes, we are. Okay, time to uh, buy some stuff. Uh, okay, so uh, spinners are now available to us for the first time. Uh, so let's just grab one of each. Why not trap bobber? I do think that they eventually like wear out. Uh, I don't know how long it takes for them to wear out. Uh, but there's the iridium rod. That's what we came for. And uh, just some furniture looking stuff here, I think. Okay, uh, so uh, I don't know, we're here. We might as well try to increase our friendship a little bit. There you go, you're welcome. I can't give another gift. I don't want to give a gift, I just want to talk. Let's just be friends. There we go. Uh, okay, so uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, something. Um, Something, something, something. Um, let's uh, let's move the uh, the fishing stuff around. So we're going to put our fishing rod up here, and we're going to put the bait. And I think if I how do I get all of it? Maybe there was a better way to do that. Right click. There we go. So this thing is now baited. But also you can see below the 366 bait is a place for a lure. Uh, and so the specific lure that I want is uh, not the bite rate one, but the trap bobber, uh, which will hopefully allow us to do the fishing today a little bit easier. Okay, so I just uh, left clicked and then right clicked to deposit it. If I left click here and then right click, yeah, you can see it just trades. Okay, that's the one that I want. All right, uh, let's see. Next up, we're going to head over to the bus stop, um, which uh, is available as of 10 a.m., so we'll be a few minutes late, but that's all right. Um, okay, so, oops, not what I meant to do. Let's hop on here and get going. And again, always looking at my coffee needs. I always need coffee. I think it's quickest just to head to the bus stop directly. Sorry about this. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so I think I was saying uh, it wasn't clear to me the best way to get to the bus stop, whether I should have gone east there to the blacksmith to hop on the minecart or just go directly to the bus stop. I don't know, probably quite similar. But anyway, here we are. There's Marty, the bus stop driver. We'll just grab that. And uh, while I'm here, I think I want to uh, dump all of my stuff. So let's let's put a chest. I think it's safe. Again, just gotta make sure you you don't you don't put anything uh, in the way of uh, of any of these folks. So we'll just dump this stuff. We'll go ahead and grab it uh, probably tomorrow. So again, uh, always careful to uh, to keep the things that I need. Um, yeah, I think we'll run into somebody and give a parsnip over in the desert. All right, I think that's the list of stuff that we need. And I'm making a note to retrieve chest items. Over by the bus stop. So we'll do that tomorrow because I think we'll pass out in the desert tonight. All right, uh, so let's go, uh, let's go to the desert. Exciting times. Uh, all right, so here we go. Right click there, buy a ticket, you betcha. 
and then that puts us right on the desert. Uh, the wiki said that uh, this uh, drive, uh, driving on a bus through a tunnel to a desert might be a nod to uh, the uh, game Earthbound. Uh, Earthbound 2, I think, mother. Uh, all right, so here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Zero. All right, uh, if you walk back on the bus, it says, do you want to return? So no, I don't want to return just yet. But here we are at the desert. This is cool. Uh, so again, before uh, today, uh, I've never been to the desert, and I just checked it out a little bit right before making this video in preparation for the video. Uh, all right, so uh, let's take a look at uh, some stuff in the desert. Um, so there's a couple of uh, new forageables in the desert for us. There's like a cactus fruit and a coconut, so we like those. Uh, and we're going to make our way over to the uh, desert trader. So let's just grab stuff because we like foraging. Oh, that's up on top. I can't grab that. Never mind. All right, so here's the desert trader. It's an opportunity to uh, buy stuff. Unfortunately, uh, gold is not his. Uh, is not something he's super interested in. Uh, so to uh, buy things, you got to trade with them. So you can get an artifact trove at the cost of five Omni geodes. You can buy a warp totem for three Omni geodes. An espresso costs a diamond. That sounds like a terrible deal. Spicy eel. Mega bomb bomb. Maybe bombs are good for five quarts. No, even that doesn't sound great. Um, warp totem recipe for ten. Uh, Iridium bars, butterfly hutch, green turban, magic Hellboy hat, birch double bed. All right, so we got none of these things. You can see it's all grayed out on the right, but another opportunity to trade one item for a different item. Cool, cool. Um, uh, one piece of advice maybe is to buy uh, staircases here. Uh, they're not in the list, but he does have a rotating selection of goods that show up on specific days of the week. So I don't know what day of the week the staircases are. Let's say it's Wednesday. Every Wednesday, staircases are available here. One staircase at the cost of one jade. And we haven't found a lot of jade. Those are uh, minerals. But if you use a crystallarium, you can duplicate minerals. And so it might be a good idea to get like one jade, throw it into a crystallarium, and just let it replicate uh, jades forever and then you can just keep exchanging you can exchange a pile of jade for a pile of staircases uh, on a given day like on a wednesday or whatever it is okay uh so let's uh let's move on to the next task here uh so we're gonna head over to uh, let's say we'll grab this coconut because why not uh, but let's head over here there's something going on here this is where the uh, desert totem and desert obelisk would warp you to if you use them I just ran out of coffee. That's no good. I need my fix. Apparently the weather here is always sunny in the desert. And let's head into the oasis. Okay, could skip this cutscene, but we'll show it off here. There's Sandy. Quite surprised to see a customer. Apparently she doesn't get a lot of customers. And she knew that uh, we were coming. Outstanding. Okay, uh, all right, uh, so uh, let's go ahead and offer her something. Do we have parsnips? Let's see if she likes parsnips. What do I do here? That one. Okay, uh, so first we will uh, talk to her with uh, nothing in our hand. Hello there. And then we'll offer a parsnip. Is this something you want? Wonderful. Uh, and, uh, and so actually she is uh, in this list. I think she was like grayed out before, but is she somewhere? There she is. Sandy, talk to her this week. Uh, talked to her today, gave her one gift this week, uh, and we're going to buy some stuff from her, but let's check out this shady character. Hey, do you want a parsnip? All right, so I can't even do anything here with the parsnip in my hand. With an, an empty hand, I can right-click, and the bouncer has nothing to say to me. So uh, to unlock this area, you got to do some kind of quest line involving Mr. Key, Q-I, Key, uh, and uh, there's a casino back there. I don't expect that we're going to do that during this video series. Okay, back over here to Sandy. And let's see what she has to buy. Uh, all right, cactus seeds. Uh, so these seeds uh, right here are only available from Sandy's. Uh, and so we're just gonna buy 25 of each. Uh, so this one can only grow indoors. Rhubarb seeds is uh, only in the spring, uh, which is right now, but it takes 13 days and we don't have that much time. So we can't plant them now and, uh, and have them uh, be harvestable uh, this season, but we'll plant these in the summer on summer one. Uh, beet seeds are a fall plant. Let's grab 25 of those. Uh, seasonal plant. I wonder if this is different. I feel like we bought one of these before. Uh, honey. Um, so honey has purposes for us. I don't know exactly what they are. We'll just buy 25. A shirt for $1,000 and it's green. Uh, a bargain at double the price. Uh, wall cactus. That looks lovely. Large green rug for 2500 Who could say no to that? 
All right, so I think that's everything here. Uh, I don't know if this selection of goods rotates uh, based on the day of the week or whatever. But anyway, uh, I think we're good there. And we just bought this uh, green shirt for 1,000 gold. Nice. That was totally worth it. We are just styling for sure. Okay, uh, so we've been to the Oasis. Uh, we can't get to the uh, casino. So we are out of here by Sandy. Okay, there's one of these uh, wormy spots that if I had my hoe, I would hoe it up because something good would come out of there. All right, so back here, we got the sand dragon. Can I make my way through here to this yummy cactus fruit? And we'll right click on the sand dragon. It's maw gapes at the desert sun, even in death, it yearns for a taste. Holy cow, that's mysterious and a little bit creepy. Uh, this has to do again with a, uh, I think the Mr. Key quest line, but uh, nothing for us to do there for right now. Let's head here um, this way to the uh, northern part of the map. And we got these three pillars and there's something to do right here, uh, but uh, that's far off into the future. I think it's called like a secret, secret quest or something like that. Uh, we don't have the resources for it. Uh, here is a body of water, and so you know what? We're going to fish in it. Uh, so let's use our iridium rod. Uh, there are exactly two fish that only spawn here uh, in the desert in this pond. Uh, here we go. The sandfish and the scorpion carp. Uh, the scorpion carp only available once you're, only shows up once you're at level four fishing, which we are. So let's fish for a little bit, 6 a.m. until 8, uh, 8 p.m. And I'll say that one of these uh, fish, the sandfish, is uh, reasonably easy to catch in terms of like how fast it moves up and down. Uh, but I had two opportunities with the scorpion carp uh, off video before I made this video, and I was 0 for 2, and I was not close. Um, but uh, that was with my old rod, so I've got a better rod here, and I'm also using the, uh, the trap bobber or whatever it's called to hopefully make it easier to, uh, to catch the, uh, the tough fish. So we'll just fish here for an hour or two in game time uh, and, uh, and see what happens. Right, toss this thing out somewhere in the middle. And we get some junk, wonderful. Um, and I'll say uh, that uh, I'm a geography nut and, uh, and I uh, recently, um, uh, let's focus on the fish here. All right, so this is the easier one, although you wouldn't know it based on what's happening with me. Hey, come back, come back, come back. Just relax, everything's good. Okay, so there's a sandfish, cool, cool. Let's mark the sandfish as caught right here. Sandfish is a yes. Uh, and I don't know whether or not we need it for any, uh, you know, bundles or crafting. I think it's, it's for a bundle, um, but uh, we only need one of them. So uh, sandfish is done. We'll hopefully get a scorpion bite. I'm not uh, all that confident that we're gonna get a scorpion catch. Uh, it does get easier to fish uh, when you're up at, uh, you know, level 10 fishing. The, the bar you're trying to keep the fish in gets bigger every time you level up the fishing skill. Okay, so I was saying about uh, geography. I'll come back to the geography stuff. Let's see if we can get a perfect. No, not quite. Not quite. All right, another sandfish. Great, great. Um, so uh, uh, there's this uh, word game called Wordle, which has uh, taken the country by storm. I do like playing that game. Uh, and then there's been some like kind of offshoots of that game, uh, trying to piggyback on the success of Wordle. And uh, one of the ones that I play every day, well, the only one that I play every day, is called Wordle. And it shows you a, uh, the outline of a random country or territory. And you have to try to guess uh, what the country is. Um, they have like six guesses or whatever, same as Wordle. And the information you get when you're wrong, hang on. No, oh, come back, come back. The information you get when you're wrong is a, uh, how many miles or kilometers you are from the correct country, the one that's actually shown in the outline. And also, um, which direction the correct country is from the country that you picked. You know, is it to the north? Is it to the southeast? It gives you, I think, one of eight choices in terms of direction. So direction and distance. Uh, but uh, I didn't want to take... Hang on, this is nothing, right? This is... Oh, wait, this actually is a scorpion thing, I think. Oh, my goodness. No, dang it. <laughs> I thought it was aggressively moving around. I thought it had the scorpion fingerprint. Okay, um, <clears throat> so I decided I didn't want to take six guesses, uh, like with the uh, with the World Duel game. Uh, I just want to be able to identify them in one guess. And so I actually went and learned the outlines of every uh, country, 193 UN nations, like another 100 or so, um, you know, territories and other kinds of stuff that, that aren't full-fledged countries. I uh, learned them all, and, uh, and now I get the uh, World Duel in one guess just about every time. 
another sandfish, right? Yeah, I mean, when I when I did have my two attempts at the uh, scorpion fish, I was not close to catching it. It was just all over the place. All right, let's just try another uh, couple of minutes. I think we've already exceeded my two-hour in-game time here. Oh. Oh. So this thing moves aggressively, but largely stays where it is. So like when it moves aggressively, it leaves my bar right away. Uh, but the other fish, the scorpion one, it just had no interest in being caught. Can't imagine why. Uh, okay, so anyway, that whole story uh, about uh, geography and country outlines, uh, it was uh, for me to say that uh, this pond, the shape of this pond right here, uh, reminds me quite a bit of the outline of the country of Gabon, which is a uh, small nation in Western Africa. So go check that out. Uh, go to Google and type in Gabon outline. And I uh, actually haven't looked it up myself since I discovered this desert pond earlier today. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's what jumped right into my mind right away. Also kind of like Guatemala, but I would say it's more Gabon than Guatemala. So feel free to Google and, uh, and see if you think that this pond looks like Gabon at all. All right, let's do one last one. We haven't even gotten a scorpion bite. I really would like to show it off, even though I have no expectation that I'll be able to catch it uh, at this fishing level and with this equipment. Maybe there's more equipment I'll get later on that makes it easier. But it seems like it's not to be. We've got sandfish aplenty, but no scorpion fish. All right, I said that was the last one. We're just hooked, hooked on this stuff. Uh, like I said, we're just going to go into that, uh, the Skull Cavern uh, for the rest of the day, and I don't really have any specific goals in that cavern anyway, just kind of showing it off. Uh, what we'll discover when we get into that cavern is that I feel like I'm quite under-equipped and underpowered uh, for the, uh, the monsters that are in there. They, they are quite a bit tougher uh, than the monsters in the mines. And I did, I think we have the best sword that we're able to get at this point in the game, but there are better swords, better weapons, and maybe I need to... Uh, to focus uh, on kind of grinding, doing what I need to do to get the, you know, the better equipment. Oh, this looks like something. There you go. That's a scorpion for sure, for sure. And you can see that we're uh, struggling mightily here. Uh, so we lasted longer uh, attempting to get the scorpion there than I did previously, uh, earlier off video. But uh, yeah, I, I do not have the skill and or equipment uh, to catch a scorpion fish just yet, but that's okay. No judgment, I'm doing the best that I can. All right, uh, so we looked for the fish, did what we could, and now I think it's time to head into uh, Skull Cavern. So uh, Skull Cavern is similar to the mines in that you really want to head into the Skull Cavern on good luck days because uh, then the staircases, uh, sorry, the, uh, the ladders going down from one floor to the one below uh, show up more uh, regularly, more frequently. So you have to break like fewer um, stones on average uh, in order to get a ladder to show up and also uh, the drops from stones uh, and, and from chests and things like that are better on good luck days. I don't think the drops uh, when you kill monsters make any difference whether it's good luck or bad luck day but anyway there's reasons to come out here on good luck days uh, and this is a neutral luck day for me uh, but I just wanted to uh, to come out and show it off um, for the purposes of this video series. Like I said I, I don't think I'm really equipped yet. Um, this lava katana maybe isn't good enough. Maybe I need better defense. I'm not sure. Um, like maybe I, you know, there's like better boots that I can get that would give me more defense. Uh, maybe I need to, instead of focusing on attacking rings, maybe I need defensive rings. I don't know. That's a question for me for another day. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to show off the, uh, the, the Skull Cavern until 2 o'clock. And uh, we do have like a uh, full, uh, like our hands are full, like our book bag is just about full. Uh, let's go ahead and drink some coffee real quick. And let's have a salad. Oh, I meant to have the trout soup uh, for the uh, fishing buff. That might have helped a little bit, but um, uh, again, I don't think I'm close to being able to uh, to catch one of those scorpion thingies. So I'm just gonna place, kind of place, place one, place one, and we're just gonna dump just about everything here. And uh, hopefully, we'll remember to come back right before we pass out at two o'clock to grab these things and take them back. Uh, I'll keep these because that will give us the ability to make more cherry bombs. I hope we can get rid of all this stuff here. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if there's any fishing in the in the cavern. Uh, we don't need the chest here. 
Yes, uh, we don't need the trout soup. We never used it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to take a deep breath and focus myself because when I went into the Skull Cavern earlier today for the first time in my life, I came up very close to passing out multiple times. Not passing out from low energy, but passing out from low health because the enemies, even on the first floor, just wrecked me. So I want to be very ready uh, to, uh, to chomp on a salad if my health gets even to the halfway point. Uh, okay, so mostly I'm going to be uh, slashing away at enemies with the katana. Uh, I'll blow up some rocks with the cherry bomb. I'll use a staircase if I'm just eager to, uh, to get from one floor to the next. Uh, and then just the last thing to say about the Skull Cavern in general, it just uh, has um, drops like from enemies and from stones uh, that uh, we don't have access to anywhere else. And so that's really what we're after here. Uh, I don't even know if you need to kill a certain number of each of these enemies for Gil's monster eradication goals. I think that those are all available in the, the mines. Uh, I don't know that you need to come here for that um, subtask. <coughs> but in any event, um, we're just going to try to descend. There's no bottom level, like uh, there's 120 levels of the mines. There's no bottom level here, but the lower you go, the, more, the better some of the drops become. And in fact, uh, the, the main source, I think, for Iridium for folks is to just descend rapidly, as rapidly as they can, uh, in the mines, uh, in the Skull Cavern here. And uh, apparently Iridium is, uh, is much more common the lower you get. And then the last final thing here that I know about Skull Cavern is that, um, yes, there's a ladder that will take you from one floor to the one below, but also randomly spawning will be sometimes a, like a, I don't know, like a, just like an empty uh, circle, which uh, will drop you some random number of floors with some bounds. Um, and, uh, and when you get dropped, you do get hurt, you lose some health. But you'll never die uh, from a drop, even if uh, you're supposed to lose uh, enough health that would bring you to zero. It will give you one health, and then you quickly chow down on the salad. Okay, with all of that out of the way, I think we're ready to use our key in the keyhole. So this is the skull key. What did we, was this uh, from getting to the bottom of the mines, I think? That's what we got. Uh, and so now I think that uh, our journal entries are completed because we just finished uh, that last quest, which was to figure out what the skull key is for. So there you go. I think we just beat the game. All right. So this enemy right here uh, hurts me pretty bad. And so I'm not even moving. I just want to whack him. Yeah, we got a void essence. All right. So um, I want to be ready to go. Whoops, run away. Uh, ready to go with my uh, sword because, oh my goodness here, oh, there's two of them. This is real trouble, gang. Real tr oh, three, are you kidding me? Oh my god, gang, we're going to die in this first level. This is terrifying. Terrifying. All right, so I don't want to eat a salad. I think I want to just turn around and whack these guys. Whack, whack. Oh my god, I'm just so destroyed. So destroyed. So, like, again, you can see clearly what I was saying here about uh, not feeling like I'm equipped uh, for Skull Cavern. So I don't know much about this game, honestly. I've, I've never played beyond the first um, something or other, first season. Uh, and so I'm doing the best I can with the limited information I have to share. Uh, let's go ahead and, well, there's a ladder right there. So I'll take it, but might as well just whack this box here, see if anything good drops, nothing there. If there's enemies over here, I will run, run away. But uh, let's see, might as well just keep improving our mining skill here by getting ore, even if we don't need the particular ore. Grab a pur purple mushroom, that's cool. All right, nothing else up there. And I think we're, we're good to go, ready to leave here and head to uh, floor number two of this endless mine. Phew, scary times. All right, what do we have here? Uh, let's whack this thing. Great. Stuff we don't need. Uh, all right, so we'll... Whack this guy a bunch of times, and again with the slimes, we like to uh, whack them into a wall so that they can't get too far away from us. There might even be like a, uh, a free ladder at the end of this thing. Let's just keep on trucking. We got Omni Geo. That's cool. I'm always ready with my sword first and foremost. All right, so there's the free ladder. But might as well just whack this thing for the experience. And again, because it's not scary here. Oh, it's getting scary. It's getting scary. I was gonna say we could just hang out here. Um, because there's no, oh goodness, stop, please stop, please. <laughs> what am I doing, gang? Like, I've got the best sword I could have right now. Why, why am I so weak? I don't get it. I don't know. I think I'm doing something out of order here. Maybe I'm just really not supposed to be at this point in the game uh, with the uh, whatever weak resources I have access to at this moment. Okay, so there's our ladder. I'm just gonna walk around here. And again, if we see enemies, we run, run away. But if we see these things, grab them. Even if it's stuff we don't need, like I think, uh, yeah, it's copper there. Um, but 
rapid progression in the mines was my goal in the beginning. Uh, but uh, rapid progression here is, I mean, it's a good goal to have, uh, but it's not my goal. I, uh, there's, there's scary stuff down below, uh, and I want nothing to do with it. Um, so I'm just, uh, just kind of exploring for the purposes of this educational YouTube tutorial series, uh, as opposed to rapid progress. All right, uh, anything here? All right, so there's some new enemies we've got. Uh, it's really those, oh my god, I just trapped myself. Brilliant. Okay, um, so new enemies here. Uh, it's that, that flying one that's so aggressive. That's the one that's like scariest to me. Uh, there's some armored bug that I can't do any damage to. You can see I'm hitting this thing, but it says zero damage. So apparently you need uh, some some item or weapon or whatever that I don't have. Um, even the bomb seemed like it didn't, didn't have any impact. But we're just running around. We'll grab the Omni Geo. That's worthwhile. Oh, goodness, that guy. The scary guy's coming. He's coming. Oh, we're at, we're at low health already. Let's eat in preparation for this battle. We're totally going to own this guy. Like even just letting him touch me is uh, is bad news. Spicy eel. Cool. Uh, all right, so let's whack this guy and then get whacked a little bit by him and grab those things. Okay, still running around. Uh, let's bomb up here. I do want to keep my eye on the clock because I don't want I, uh, I want to grab uh, and I fill my backpack with stuff before I pass out two o'clock all right cool uh you could use staircases here just like uh maybe we will at some point did we already use staircases no i guess we didn't okay uh so let's so uh, let's take a look at this blob it seems like there's no other item no other enemies here uh so the blobs uh have a chance of spawning these little blobs which are cute look like blueberries but my goodness they are poked let's have some salad what do you say Uh, so again, hoping to uh, to keep these guys against a wall so that they can't get some distance. It's like I want to fight them from close so they can't uh, unleash their attack on me. Uh, one thing I've never actually tried to do is block. Like you can block with the sword. Is it the right? Yeah, right click. So so maybe I should I should be playing more defense than I am. Uh, all right, so uh, let's drink some coffee. It's 11:30 at night. Why not? Uh, and let's use a uh, let's use a staircase just to show you that they work here just as well. Okay, so we'll pick this thing up and we'll get ready to fight for our lives. Oh, troubles. This is all kinds of trouble. Salad, salad. Don't want to pass out, again, because the uh, costs, like you lose some, some, some significant stuff when you pass out. You could lose significant stuff when you pass out. Okay, so that's the zero guy. And the blueberry guy we just have to stay close to so he doesn't do his powerful long attack. Just don't want to be touched by him. All right, coal. Marvelous. Okay, so we'll just uh, drop some bombs here, see what pops up, if anything. Uh, you could do the, uh, what's this here? Could do the uh, the screenshot business uh, that I showed before in the previous video, uh, if you really want to look around and see, hey, are there any ores available, mining things or whatever. Okay, 1220, let's keep going. Health is looking good. Let's chop this thing, and we'll put this thing right here, and then we'll go fight this guy. Say back, back I say. Okay, haven't taken any hits here. That's cool, that guy's about to pounce. And he did pounce, we took a hit, we're taking hits. Taking hits, walking into stuff, getting wrecked. Okay, uh, looking good, looking okay. One o'clock, might as well just have another, another late night snack here. Um, yeah, but these, these bug things there, I don't know why that guy didn't come after me. It seems like they, uh, they come after me from very far away, like that. Uh, okay, so it's one o'clock. I can I can handle this guy when it's just one of them, but you couple it with like other enemies, and I get very scared. Okay, and uh, there's no uh, you know saving every saving your progress like every fifth floor or whatever. Uh, it's just uh, when you leave the mine, and you can leave the mine from any floor. Uh, you. Um, do you have to start from the beginning next time you, you come into the mines, whether it's the same day or a different day? Okay, I think that's about all the time we have for today. Let's head on out and oops, and grab some stuff. Okay, uh, I should have looked to see what uh, what floor we were at. It was probably not a world record. Uh, okay, so we're going to pass out. Uh, let's just see how many items we can take back here and then make some decisions about what we're going to leave. Uh, okay, so trash is... Uh, is garbage, so we don't need that. Uh, what else do we not need here? We don't need sap. 
slimes, I guess we'll take if we can. Gold ore, not super important. We'll keep these things if we can. What is this? Iron ore, not that important. Stone, not that important. Okay, let's see what else we can take back. Don't need the cola. We'll take the parsnips and uh, rhubarb seeds. I'd really like to take my trout soup back. Can I manage to do that? What is this? Quartz. I guess this decoration, we could just pick this up any time, right? That's not all that important. So let's bring that back. Okay, so I don't see anything in here that's critical for bringing back home. So uh, let's head in one last time just to see what we see. And see if maybe we can kill something, maybe not die. Wait, 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 there's something on the floor. I don't know what I can throw away. That thing on the floor uh, look like something maybe I want. Four quartz. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> white algae. All right, let's get rid of white algae. So let's get rid of white algae. Yeah, what is this thing? What, what is it? All right, I don't, I don't know what it was I was standing on. Or maybe I needed a right click and I didn't. But I did not get it. And I lost my precious white algae, which I don't think mattered at all. All right, level three combat. Well, I guess, uh, okay, so this is something that will help us in terms of combat is um, having a higher HP, uh, the uh, leftmost bar of the two bars. So that'll help uh, as we make our way up to maximum level 10. So maybe we're supposed to like earn our stripes in the mines and really level our combat way up there before we come over to Skull Cavern at the maximum rank. Also finding more uh, star drops will increase our maximum HP, so that'll be helpful. Uh, and, uh, yeah. All right, we sold uh, something. 52 gold worth of stuff. That's cool. Okay, day 19 in the books. Progress has been saved. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.